Hey, Rob Vino here with Wednesday's Big Game Breakdown, college basketball style. We're going to take a look at the UConn Xavier matchup here. Uh, first thing, the obvious thing to look at here where Connecticut is concerned is the Donovan Klingon injury, which took place right before Christmas and has kept him out the last couple of games and will keep him out for a month. Taking a look at those two games that UConn has played since then against DePaul and Butler, numbers suggest and I test suggest they're playing slightly quicker those last two games. Um, some of that could be a product of Butler and DePaul as the opponents, but a major part of that is now they go a little bit small, right? The biggest guy on the floor at times for UConn at this point in time is six foot eight inch Alex Caravan, veteran power forward. Um, it forces you kind of doesn't actually force them, but it creates a lineup that goes quicker, is better, quicker. Xavier's number 71 in the nation in offensive tempo. They'll probably run tonight against UConn, try and force UConn out of what's become a comfortable half court um, methodical style offense. But again, got to roll with the punches here because without Klingon, things are changing for UConn. So overall statistics don't mean as much with UConn right now over the course of these next few games while he's missing. Um, taking a look at one of the keys here, probably going to be rebounding. UConn's an excellent rebounding team if you just take a look at their overall numbers. But again, without the 7-2 giant in the middle, um, things do change a little bit. And without him, those overall numbers do become a little bit skewed, and they may lead to Xavier getting a lot of second chances on the offensive glass tonight. They're a terrific offensive rebounding team. So I would expect second chance opportunities, possibly second chance points out of Xavier this evening. And without Klingon defending the rim on the other end, you know, the guard trio of uh, Xavier, not necessarily great three-point shooters, but I think they're going to attack the rim here tonight. McKnight, Oliveri, and Claude probably become a lot more aggressive going to the rim without Klingon standing there. His presence missed on that end as well. With all of that said, UConn offensively has shot 54.5 and 58.2% from the field in their last two games without Klingon in the lineup. Um, they've gone a little bit crazy from three here, 38.5 and, and 46.2% from three-point range. So they're still scoring the basketball against some of that could have been due to the opposition to Paul and Butler, but I don't see much difference in Xavier. Xavier's probably a better defensive team, um, but they're going to have their hands full with the UConn offense here as well. I'm go ahead, going to go ahead and take a look here at playing this game up and over the total. Currently sits at 145 and a half, 146 in that range. Um, I think that Xavier, again, We'll have opportunities to score here that they haven't had uh, against some opponents this season. And I think UConn on the other end is shooting really well right now and probably continues that. So let's give a shot here for the big game breakdown with UConn Xavier up and over the total.